Sir, I read two things on Twitter today. <clears throat> One was uh, a bunch of people that were dragging an entity that had just unveiled something that was, uh, by all accounts, all about inclusion, right? Like it was a positive thing. And I just noticed how people were decidedly negative about it. And not, <clears throat> not just that they were decidedly negative about it, but that the sponsored headline was about how people were being negative. And then I read a similar story where a bunch of people were dragging a father and a son for showing affection to one another, um, which just seemed odd to me. Like, I kiss my dad on the lips. I kiss good friends of mine that are guys on the lips. It just seemed like... Um, it just seemed strange. It just seemed negative. And then I thought to myself, like, what, what, what do I take that's positive from Twitter? Immediacy? That's for sure. I love the immediacy of it. Um, are there accounts that are purely information-based that are fascinating to follow? Uh-huh. Yes, of course. Uh, I love when somebody like Chuck Klosterman you know, recommends an article from New York Magazine, or when I go down the rabbit hole and I figure out that, that, uh, that you know, I've got this long read piece that I can find and save for later. I, I do really enjoy that. But um, with two point something million followers, I don't, think that it, I don't think that it would come as a surprise when I tell you that I, I don't turn notifications on. I mean, every once in a while, I'll go and I'll check the tea leaves when an episode of Arrow was on, just to see what people are saying. Um, but then I become vaguely frustrated because people take, you know, uh, personal uh, stances against people that I work for, men and women. And that obviously doesn't make me happy. So all of this to say, uh, I, I think I'm just going to get my news somewhere else. Um, I'm not going to do that big thing where you tweet and you say, like, I'm out. I might deactivate my account, I, I might not, but I think, I think I'm just gonna slowly back away. You know, in the early days, I would joke about hating Twitter. I don't hate Twitter, I don't hate anything. Um, but I also don't have time in the grand scheme of things for something that doesn't provide any positivity. Or at the very least, like, I feel like it's a relationship where the good times are good and the bad times are really bad. Like, like, yeah, I don't need to take that analogy any further. So, um, I think I'll just stick with Instagram and Facebook and awesome people doing things and dummies doing things and drunk people doing things, which is, um, probably the best thing that happened to me from a technology standpoint in the latter part of 2017 and into 2018. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. Uh, okay. That's it. Actor goes on pulpit, decries negative aspects of Twitter. Not really. I just didn't want to tweet it. Does that make sense? Hope everybody enjoyed the episode tonight, and if you're on the West Coast, I hope you enjoy it too. Uh...